Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here I share recipes, meal prep, and dinner inspiration as a homeschooling family of five that eats three meals per day from home, mostly from scratch. I am happy to have you here in my kitchen. I have a full day of meal prep planned, breakfast, lunch, and dinner items. As usual, I am starting my morning off with vegetables. Today, I've got another veggie tray of my kids' favorites for the fridge, another chopped salad for my husband and I. This one was inspired by that chickpea salad I've been eating for the past two months. I left out the black olives today and used cilantro instead of parsley. So good. Now some veggies for my soup. I am making a creamy chicken tortilla in the crock pot. I've got some cilantro, onions, and jalapenos. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. This recipe called for a can of Rotel, which I don't have here in Botswana. I thought I had found a substitute with this. However, it was more like crushed tomatoes with chilies, but it turned out really good. I've also got a can of corn and some kidney beans. All my spices, I am using a homemade taco seasoning and my homemade bouillon powder because I am out of chicken broth. This stuff is amazing. It's made with nutritional yeast and is so flavorful adding in my water. We like a really hearty soup, so I only used three to four of the five cups that this recipe called for. All right, moving on to my baked oatmeal. I have been obsessed with this chocolate version. I mixed this up last week, making my work easier on this day. Mixing up my favorite bread dough. and pizza crust. We do pizza night just about every week. I have a designated spot for it on my meal planning template here. I find having a few specific types of meals on repeat each week really helps me with decision fatigue when it comes to meal planning. I know some who plan weekly themes like Mexican night or Asian night, which is a great way to put the planning on autopilot. However, I feel like I have finally cracked the meal planning code for us at least with these four types of meals. All four of these meals can be prepped in advance and require very little effort when it comes to prepare them. If you'd like to give my free template a try, you can find it in the description box of this video here. While my doughs are rising, I'm going to get started on some French toast sticks for the freezer. I baked this bread in my last video in preparation for these French toast sticks today. I came across this recipe on Pinterest. Frozen French toast sticks are something I would occasionally purchase from the store when we lived in the States. My kids love them, and as I said in my last video, I love things I can just pop in the oven. My kids and husband loved these. They were a 10 out of 10. I will definitely be making them again. I followed the recipe exactly. I did slice my bread a little bit too thick though. Next time I will be making them a bit smaller. Now I am mixing up some ground beef for burgers. I love the convenience of frozen burgers. I have shared frozen burger sliders in the past I am not up for preparing those today. Instead, I'm just going to season my ground beef with this homemade seasoning. Now I'm spreading my beef onto a pan and using this little tool that I use to make my kids Uncrustables, I am going to cut out my patties just like this. I am sending these to the freezer till frozen through. Once they're frozen, I can bag them up. These make a quick and easy lunch or dinner. They can be cooked from frozen. Next up, frozen burritos. These took a bit of planning. Last Saturday, I prepped a bunch of burrito-sized tortillas, especially for today. I also roasted this pork shoulder. And can we just talk about this pork shoulder for a minute? I have shared my recipe for Boston butt or pulled pork, whatever you want to call it before. 
This is such a budget-friendly and versatile cut of meat. We use it for tacos, pulled pork sandwiches. It's great on salads and soups. I've used it in my crock pot pinto beans. It reheats really well. Here I'm using leftovers for pulled pork sandwiches, reheating it on my griddle. It freezes really well too. Here I'm throwing it in the oven from frozen for pork tacos. Definitely give this a try. My kids love it. I am using it today for these burritos. I made a pot of cilantro lime rice and cheese queso. I also had some leftover pinto beans I was able to use up. These turned out so good. I did not reheat the pork to assemble these. However, heating the homemade tortillas is crucial. They are much more pliable when warmed. They will break when you're folding if they're not warmed. So I assembled each one of these burritos on my warm griddle. Each burrito got a quarter cup of rice and an eighth cup of beans, some pulled pork, and a couple tablespoons of queso. These were such a hit. I placed them in the freezer just like this. Once they were frozen through, I transferred them to a freezer bag. These can be reheated in the microwave or oven. We prefer the oven. Just wrap them in foil and pop them in at 350 till heated through. You can tell they're done by pressing on them through the foil. If they feel soft, they're done. I absolutely love these because my 11 year old can pop them in the oven himself. Once those were done, it was time to portion out my bread dough. I am still experimenting with cinnamon swirl bread. It's a work in progress. I also made some dinner rolls for sandwiches. These were actually used for those pulled pork sandwiches. I rolled out and par-baked all my pizza crusts. I usually like pizza dough to slowly rise in the fridge overnight, but I really wanted to get this done today. I rolled these out to fit half a sheet pan. This is the size that fits my tiny freezer perfectly. Once these were completely cooled, I decided to bag them all together, each one separated by a layer of parchment. That was it for this day of meal prep. This creamy tortilla soup was amazing by the way. I left out the cream cheese because my oldest doesn't like it. The rest of us just stirred in what we wanted. Some other things I prepped this week, I browned a bunch of ground beef one morning. Browned ground beef is another versatile staple that freezes really well. I love having it on hand for quick and easy meals. I used it this week in this homemade version of Hamburger Helper. This was so good. I also used it to throw together a couple of lasagnas for the freezer. I like to make my lasagnas and bread pans because this is not a family favorite. Only three out of five of us will eat the leftovers here, so I make them a little bit smaller than my typical freezer casseroles. The last thing I wanted to share were these oatmeal cookie bars. These are amazing. I didn't have marshmallow fluff for the filling, so I just melted marshmallow. I need to work on a better substitute for the filling, but they were still delicious. I planned on freezing the leftovers after a few days, but there weren't any.
All right, guys, that's all I've got for you for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or comment below. It really helps to support the channel. Until next time.